Hello everybody, Julie Klutze here from Own Your Power. How are you? I have decided to hop on this video to talk to you all about how as women we are such good actresses sometimes. I know that I for myself could have won an Academy Award for my performance on the happy and fulfilled wife. You know, I was married to an abusive narcissist for seven years and you no, know, nobody really knew what was going on. Nobody had a clue as to just how miserable I was. Now, is that you? Are you one of those women who is just pretending that everything is fine? Everything is fine. If you are, then I invite you to continue watching because I'm going to explain to you how I got out of that how I was able to face my shit, and how I help women in my Empowered Mystic program face their shit as well. So, you know, the reason why most of us just choose to pretend that everything is fine, basically the reason why is because facing it, coming face to face with it, is going to be way too hurtful. And it will also make you have to make a decision. You have no choice, right? When you come face to face with something, you can't ignore it anymore. And then you have a choice. It's either you stay stuck in that miserable rut or you get out of it. And that's why for so many years, I was just pretending that everything was fine. Everything was fine. I was shoving everything under the rug. Yeah, and then after a while, I had this big lump under the rug. <laughs> had to walk around it. Yeah, after a while, you can't ignore it anymore. You can't, and that's the universe's way of, you know, helping you out. Sometimes we feel like the universe is working against us. Sometimes we feel like the universe is really mean, but it's not because it knows it knows how great you are and how you are meant to be living a better, more fulfilled, more loving life than what you are right now. So this avoidance, this pretending that, you know, everything is fine is avoidance. It's you not wanting to face your shit. It's you not wanting to look at yourself in the mirror because it hurts. It hurts a lot. And that's why many women, and if this is you, <laughs> then you better raise your hand when you see this video and put a like to it or put it in the comment box below, this is me. Many women, in order to avoid all these really difficult, hurtful feelings, they keep themselves really, really busy. Extremely busy. Yep. So that, you know, they're always running errands, they, they work a full-time job, maybe a part-time job, they take care of the kids, they clean the house, they always say yes to all of the social events, yes, I'm going to help, they do volunteer work, they go to the gym, they go to Zumba classes, they have their agenda filled to the brim, filled to the brim, so that they don't have that 10 minutes where they sit down and actually think about their lives and realize just how freaking miserable they are, or frustrated, or sad, or depressed. Many women do that as well. I've known many, and I've worked with many who have done that as well. And I've done it myself. I kept myself extremely busy after I left my ex-husband. You know, I was working extra hours at work, I was going to the gym, I was going out. I, you know, I just became very, very busy. But the mentor that I had at the time, she was wonderful. And you know what she told me? Julie, you need to embrace your solitude. You need to get to know yourself better. You need to embrace this, these feelings of loneliness, you know, and, and work through them. And that is my suggestion. This is what I teach women how to do in my 90 day program. You know, I help them face their shit. I help them reconnect with their soul. I help them, you know, remember that, you know, life is just way too short to start avoiding and start pretending that there is nothing wrong 
because wh what what's going to happen is that you're just going to live a life of misery. Do you hear that? That's my husky. <laughs> She's talking with her friends. She wanted to get on the on the video herself. So yeah, you know, you, and this is what's happened. This is what happens is that you end up living, you know, this life of just. It's like stagnant. It's like you're walking on a treadmill. You're not going anywhere. You're always seeing the same old, same old stuff. And it gets frustrating and it gets tiring and it gets overwhelmed. So you need to stop pretending that everything is okay or that everything will be eventually okay. You need to get into action. And this is what I teach my, my clients in my 90 day program, The Empowered Mystic. First, it's I teach them how to face their shit. You have to. And then once you do, how do you release it? How do you replace it after? We replace it with some new goals and we actually dig really deep and go and discover what were your inner desires? What is it that you really want? Because most women don't even know anymore what they want because they were too busy pretending that everything was okay and living according to other people's agendas and wants and needs. And then once you get this, this clarity then confidence comes in because now you know where you're going. And then we start putting action, some action into that plan so that you can start living that life that you always wanted to start living life on your own terms. So if this resonates with you, if this is something that you want to discuss with me a little further, then I invite you to reach out, reach out to me, private message me. I'll also put in the link for my scheduler for my calendar that you can click on and choose a time where you want us to hop on the phone and have a conversation. And you know, this is just going to be me listening to you. What is it that's going on? What are your challenges? What's going on in your life where you're feeling stuck? You know, you're feeling stuck in a rut and what are your life visions? That's why it's called a clarity call. It's just to clarify what's going on. And if I see that you're a good fit for the 90 day program for the Empowered Mystic, then I will be more than happy to talk to you more about the program and invite you to apply. And if not, if it's not a good fit, then that's fine. Then at least we would have had a really nice, meaningful conversation. So on that note, I'm going to let you all go. Wish you all love and light because it's Saturday and I've decided that I'm going to do some baking. Why not? So there you go. Ciao for now.